With me today is Chuck from Chuck vs. Mal, who is our universe's Mr. Shake. Hello. And also to the other side, thanks to the Skype universe, we have us ourselves, Sammy. Why don't you say hello to the people? Hello. So, Sammy, what, what character have you chosen to your, for yourself? Um, off the top of my head, just the Moon Knight, because... All right. I have no idea what else to choose. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. So, gentlemen. Yes. I'm sure some of you... Well, Sammy, you may be aware of this. Uh, and you too, Chuck. Yes. The movie G.I. Joe. Oh, boy. How, how do you guys feel about this, as I like to call, flaming sack of poo? <laughs> well, it's, it's not a good sign that they're not screening it for critics. Yeah. That's usually a kiss of death right there. And I, I never really was a G.I. Joe guy when, growing up, so I could care less, to be honest with you. Were you more into, like, the Thundercats? You know, not even that. I mean, you know, I was more of a Ghostbusters guy. The oh, cartoon. Ghostbusters. Now, wait a minute. Which Ghostbusters? The real one or the one? The real the Ghostbusters. Not the one where they're, like, gallivanting around in space. What the f*** <laughs> was that, anyway? <laughs> I have no idea. But I vaguely remember that they, they had an ape with them. Yes, I, I, which makes no sense. If you're busting ghosts, why would you need an ape with you? I don't know. I don't know. What was yeah. the extreme Ghostbusters about? It was pretty much like the 90s version of the real Ghostbusters. Yeah, you know, they were more extreme. Where everything was more cool. Yeah. And a more, and a more diverse cast and everything like that. And they did actually have the original Egon on it. So, you know, there was a link towards the real one. And I believe they had Slimer too, because you need Slimer to do anything Ghostbusters related. Yeah. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yes. So, that's my answer. Mm hmm. Um, my answer is because obviously, because, you know, if no one's realized yet, yeah, I'm in England. So the whole kind of. They're advertising this G.I. Joe movie over here just normally as in how they would anywhere else. Right. All the kind of relevance is gone because we didn't have G.I. Joe growing up, we still don't, and then they're just throwing this movie at us, and it's just mm. like, oh, uh, all right, then this has no relevance to us, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, Sienna Miller's in it, they'll love it. And Christopher Eccleston, but <laughs> it's just like, still, G.I. Joe, oh, uh, when all else fails, we don't. Why didn't you just send them in the first place then? Yeah, exactly. Save some time. definitely. So let me ask. Let me ask you guys this: Have you guys seen the trailer for the upcoming Tron movie? Um, I have not. I haven't either. Mm. I really should. <laughs> well, from what I've seen, you you don't get too much from it, but it definitely shows like how the technology has improved throughout the years. Oh, I imagine. Didn't the original Tron come out like uh, early '80s or something like that? Oh yeah, it was around yeah, the time. Was... Uh, Oh, let me think. It's around the time that uh, Kangaroo and all those very outdated uh, arcade games were still the best that technology had to offer. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing uh, around the time that uh, uh, Atari 2600 was maybe the best of the best. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. And that's definitely, what, early, early 80s, perhaps late 70s? Yeah. Before my time, sir. Oh, yes. Well, you say before your time. Uh, <laughs> I was born 1990, so... Oh, jeez. Well, that's way like, before your time, then. I feel like an yes. old man. <laughs> I make Widget feel old. So. Yeah. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, guys. I've just got a, a PM from a Widget. Already. The devil. Uh, I'm going to see if uh, if I can add him. Okay, cool. Let me just... Uh, let's see here. da 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 Add a little widget to our supercast cocktail right now. Indeed. All right. Hold on. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yes, some podcast where you hear me typing. I just have to edit the bloody thing out. <laughs> no. it's, it's That's okay. Typing accompanied by elevator music. So. I can start humming or something like that. You see, that. I'm not, I'm not Ken Plume. I can't just scat man whenever I. Oh, I'm... 
Ah. All right, now, hold on. Now, I got... Oh, there we go. I think, uh, yeah, that sounds good. It's ringing him right now. Yes! Ah! Ah! Witch! We hear you! (laughs) Yes! My God, that's how I'm greeted when I go home to meet my parents. (laughs) (laughs) Witch! Hello. Uh, What's up, guys? You're, you're not a, too much. Well, it's a bit late, but you, you have joined us midstream in the L Supercast. Oh, good. What are we talking about? Movies. Well, literally, as as you messaged Ginyu, I mentioned how I make you feel old. So. Yes, we were basically talking about of how much of a flaming sack of crap the GI Joe movie is going to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's I mean. It's it's Steven Summers. I've not been happy with anything Steven Summers has ever done, and I, I you know the fact that you've got these guys and you had to put them in basically Iron Man suits. Yeah. Uh, I'm just like I thought the whole point of GI Joe was that they were supposed to be like very specialized badass soldiers, and not you know in exoskeletons. I mean I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. And they would also have to uh, deliver public service announcements ever after every event that they had. Now, I will say this. If if when they start the movie, you have about three or four of those reenacted and, and modernized, <laughs> that, that might be a cool bonus for the DVD. I'm just saying. <clears throat> oh, yeah. And now you know. And no one's going to have to back. Yes. I'm wondering what they'd have to do them on these days uh, compared to back then. No oh, sexy you know. kids. You would have, <laughs> yes, you would have that. And you would probably have the conversation about if you go to a rave, don't you? Don't be like Vanessa Hudgens. Wait a minute. What are you doing putting your phone number on your MySpace page? Yeah, yeah. That's a no no. Thank you, Shipwreck. We didn't know. <laughs> so, which I have to ask you have you seen the trailer for the upcoming Tron movie? Yes, I have. I actually saw a bootleg version of it when it aired last year, uh, and they did the big reveal for it at Comic-Con. What are your impressions on this? Well, you know, it could go either way. Um, they, they've, they've done a... They, the way they revealed the trailer last year was so impressive and smart, you'd think it wasn't Disney. That's how smart it was. Mm-hmm. Um I mean, they, they basically didn't tell people they were showing a Tron trailer. It was for some other panel, and they sprang it on them. And you, I, it, was, it was something that somebody shot, so you could hear the audience go, eight when the light cycle showed up, because they realized what they were seeing. And then when Jeff Bridges showed up, which no, I think he they actually flew him in secretly to be there. Um, when Jeff Bridges shows up in the trailer, everyone lost their fucking marbles. Um, I, I think it could go either way. I mean, it... It's been a long time. They can obviously do a lot more with technology than they could then at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's all going to come down to the story. Now, what I will say, and I've mentioned this before, is that the Tron 2-disc DVD that they put out um, really does a great job of going through what it took to make Tron. Because that was, like I think, like 1982 or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so the fa- what they were able to do with, with CG back then... Uh, is really impressive and and worth checking out just for the special features alone. Um, but no, I think if it's got a good script, it could be okay. But I mean, you know, you never know. Yeah, I know. I, from, from what I've seen so far, the, the the technology definitely looks like it's been upgraded vastly from way back when when the first thing came out. Uh, I I just don't know anything about its plot. It's it's kind of hard to judge it on what they give. Yeah, exactly, and I and I think that's probably uh, smart. I mean, these days you have to have a trailer. Uh, it's it's basically what I call the the uh, the three hundred trailer thing. If your trailer is not as good as three hundred, no one will go see you in the theater. Yeah. Um, that that's why Iron Man did as well as it did is because you had a trailer that uh, appealed to the geeks and everyone else went, "Holy, <laughs> I need to go see that too." I didn't even know. I thought Iron Man was just a song, you know. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, I mean, you you have to have a cool trailer, uh, and then you can you know turn around and and make a, you know a trailer that gives away some plot points and and shows that it's not just going to be all.